All right, guys, it is a gray and gloomy 55-degree <coughs> day here in the end times in paradise. In New York, baby, it's 55 here on Thursday. Where are we? May 19th, 2022. 55 today. Day after tomorrow, it will be 93 degrees here in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, pretty much 40 degrees. We are going up in the next two days. Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about uh, weather whiplash. Uh, I'm here to talk about hopium. Hopium and apocaloptimism. Uh, <clears throat> so this is my dear sweet sister, who I love dearly, uh, she lives up there in Vermont, so she sent me this article of me and several other people. Uh, this article from uh, Vermont, where this local homegrown Vermont company uh, is saving the planet. This is, was actually in the headline how this company was saving the planet and how <clears throat> can't remember the name of this company I had to give them a plug uh, how they are saved they might it might be sea green sea green sea green I think is the name of the of this corporation if I recall so the way that sea green <clears throat> Well, they've been saving the planet. Apparently, I'd never heard of this company, uh, <coughs> this little homegrown company out of Vermont. The way they've been saving the planet uh, for the past several years is they have contracts out, I believe, with 18 militaries. Uh, sounds kind of like mercenary to me. Anyway, I'm sure the U.S. military and 17 other militaries. Uh, not exactly sure it didn't explain what the military, con the Save the Planet military contracts <clears throat> were about. But this next one uh, is, I, I think maybe their audience, well probably are the 18 <coughs> militaries, but they're also these, uh, I'm pretty sure these giant cargo ships, you know, that are piling up off all over the planet. The, these, you know, these humongous, uh, three times the size of aircraft carrier <coughs> cargo ships hauling all of this uh, shit all over the planet. So anyway, they've invented a robot this company in Vermont has invented some sort of little underwater robot who can scrub the hulls of these giant cargo ships and I assume uh, warships that they can go down there I guess maybe humans are doing this so whatever humans scrubbing uh, cargo Halls, I guess they're out of a job, uh, and so they go down there, and somehow they, for <clears throat> like a fraction of the cost it would take to pay, you, you know, living humans to uh, scrub these hulls of these giant cargo ships, they can go down there and save these giant corporations uh, money. And I guess these ships, without all these barnacles or whatever uh, attached to these things, a clean cargo ship moves faster and uses less fuel. It takes less fuel to power a clean cargo ship than a dirty cargo ship so it's that savings 
in uh, whatever kind of fuel they use to run these things, that is how they are saving the planet. So anyway, this was the, uh, the article that, that my dear sweet sister sent out and I told her that I would include it in, uh, well, that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell would, would try to include that story in his apocaloptimist hopium roundup rant that he does over there on Collapse Chronicles on Saturday and she writes back that was a great story what is a hopium <laughs> it's what <coughs> it's what she she wanted to know what is a hopium so I uh, went over to Urban Dictionary and sent her the definition of hopium you know obviously it's the it's the opiate of false hope is what it is uh, it, it is the drug that keeps these little limp dick lefties uh, <clears throat> thinking they're gonna not and I'm, and I'm not saying my sister is a limp dick lefty no don't, don't get me wrong there but uh, hopium it, it is the drug you know that keeps the little limp dick lefties thinking all of these bright green lies are gonna save this fucking planet uh, but good for them good for them saving a few gallons of uh, fuel so those giant cargo ships and uh, warships can uh, just plow through the seas even faster so uh, but anyway she did not ask me what an apocaloptimist was surprising so I guess my sister already knows I guess I've to yeah I, I'm pretty sure I have to find apocaloptimist to her so of course an apocaloptimist as the name implies is somebody who understands how fucked we are that we are in the apocalypse right now this is the unfolding apocalypse they understand how fucked we are but they think things are going to turn out okay anyway that if we just invent enough of these robots you know to clean enough of these warships and cargo ships and uh, <clears throat> just if we you know if we just scrape the bottom of the ocean uh, to make more and more of these electric batteries you know these batteries for electric cars that things are going to turn out okay and if we just tweak the system a little bit get rid of those pesky fossil fuels that things will be okay so um, anywho that's an apocalyptic optimist now of course that is no I don't know when my battery is gonna crash here now the apocalyptic optimist uh, of course is halfway to being a doomer uh, they they get the first half right so of course the difference between an apocalyptic optimist and a doomer is they both understand we're fucked but the apocalyptic optimist thinks we're going to unfuck ourselves while the uh, doomer realizes we're just going to continue to fuck ourselves deeper and deeper and deeper <clears throat> you know spewing out these bright green lies about fucking electric cars and windmills and solar farms and all of this shit saving the planet <clears throat> uh, and, and the, the the doomers I understand that we're gonna fuck ourselves right into the collapse of at least civilization which is of course a good thing and probably ultimately our own extinction uh, which certainly is a good thing <clears throat> for every other species of earthling we share the planet with. So that is the difference between the apocalyptic optimist and the, and the doomer, that doomers do not smoke hopium. Uh, we uh, stockpile fentanyl is what uh, we do. And I, I still have never found any fentanyl to stockpile. 
So of course, then you know what is the what, what is a doomer? Then there you know there's all of these different kinds of doomers. Uh, there's the doomer. Now I guess I am officially a bloomer. Okay, so the difference between a doomer and a bloomer is <clears throat> how you respond to the knowledge with a capital K and the truth with a capital T that we are fucked. We are not going to unfuck ourselves. So you have a you have several choices in the full-fledged doomer, you know, such as Michael Rupert, uh, you, you know, just gets uh, depressed and into a, uh, just puts themselves in a fetal position and buries themselves, uh, you know, in the bottom of their closet uh, until, you know, as Michael did, uh, they put a bullet through their fucking head when they realize we're completely fucked. There's not a fucking thing any of us are going to do about it on any level, so you might as well put a bullet through your head. And so that is one way to respond to the truth with a capital T of how fucked we are. And then there's the bloomer, which is what I guess, as they say, I technically am, and that is the doomer who understands completely how fucked we are uh, and we're not coming out of it and so they have reached the conclusion the only way to respond to this is to get out there and enjoy their lives the best they can while they still can because it is going to suck uh, when this shit show comes down and it can come down in any day so uh what a bloomer does is get out there and and plant a bunch of flowers. You know, plant a damn uh, like I was doing yesterday. You know, gardening, planting flowers, surrounding themselves with uh, beauty uh, in nature, uh, bringing beauty back home with them. You know, trying to. Uh, Despite the weather outside, you know, living and uh, you know, following, following the sun, uh, just whatever you can to uh, get out there and enjoy it while you still can. It is using death of the planet as your advisor. Uh, I've had this uh, rant before, you know, Don Juan Matus talking about using your own teeny weeny little personal death as your advisor. Well, a doomer, what a doomer does is, is, is take that notion and uses the impending collapse of civilization and the death of a planet as your advisor to how you want to spend the rest of your life. Do you want to spend the rest of your life and you know in some fucking job you hate uh, working for some fucking boss you hate uh, dealing with all of these fucking co-workers who you hate getting in these goddamn traffic jams that you hate uh, or you pull the plug on it. You uh, question everything, as my buddy Rob's shirt said, question everything. And uh, every time you hear yourself saying, I hate, uh, y y you know, figure out a way to fix that. Uh, and Doomers. Uh, you're talking about gratitude. You know how these little blistinis talking about uh, gratitude. Doomers are the most grateful people. Uh, uh, the grateful dead. Uh, they, they're truly the grateful dead. They're the most grateful people uh, that I've ever met because they understand more than uh, the, these clueless morons how fragile this is and how we're peeking into the abyss and how we are on the eve of destruction 
and uh, any day uh, this, this, this shit show is coming down. Uh, so anyway, I am coming into the tool rental place to get rid of my little fossil fuel slave rototiller which did a whole lot. I was using fossil fuel slaves to create beauty and uh, build my levee against the oncoming flood, you know, caused in large part by the use of fossil fuels. You know, using fossil fuels to prepare for the flood caused by people using fossil fuels. This is part of being a bloomer, is an ironic, absurdist sense of humor. A dark, black, ironic sense of humor. And when you lose that, uh, you turn into Michael Rupert and you uh, put a fucking bullet through your head. Uh, so you might as well laugh because this really is, uh, on, on one level, the, the, the funniest fucking thing uh, in the history of humanity is how we just fuck this up uh, and, uh, and, and are just driving ourselves to, uh, into a brick wall. But of course, what's not funny is all of our fellow earthlings that we're taking with us <clears throat> is uh, what's well, not funny. You know, I'm, I'm fucking uh, six blocks from the goddamn uh, tool rental place and I've got a fucking flag man. And there you go. Destruction ahead. Go slow. Destruction ahead. All right. Making the world safe for them fossil fuels. Anyway, I have a tiller to return. Get out there and uh, enjoy your fossil fuel slaves and plant as many flowers as you can while you still can because planting flowers is going to be nowhere on your agenda <clears throat> before you know it. Bye.